Our hearts may be broken, but our resolve is clear. Yesterday, I also spoke with the leaders of France, Germany, Italy, and UK to discuss the latest developments with our European allies and coordinate our united response. This comes on top of days of steady engagement with partners across the region. We're also taking steps at home. In cities across the United States of America, police departments have stepped up, security around centers for, of Jewish life. And the Department of Homeland Security and the Federal Bureau of Investigation are working closely with state and local law enforcement and Jewish community partners to identify and disrupt any domestic threat that could emerge in connection with these horrific attacks. This is a moment for the United States to come together, to grieve with those who are mourning. Let's be real clear. There is no place for hate in America. Not against Jews, not against Muslims, not against anybody. We reject, we reject, what we reject is terrorism. We condemn the indiscriminate evil, just as we've always done. That's what America stands for. We have mobilized more than 360,000 reserve troops. Uh, most of them, around 300,000, have been deployed in southern Israel. And uh, I'm talking about infantry, armor, artillery, combat uh, engineers and uh, combat intelligence forces that are now being task forced and preparing for their missions in the south. We have also deployed additional reserve forces up north. And as I said, we are vigilant there. So it is a quite a significant uh, call up of forces. Actually, it is the highest amount of troops that Israel has called up in 48 hours, never before in our history, not in Yom Kippur, and before that did we call up so many troops in such a short time, and they're being task forced now, getting ready for their missions, and the primary mission will be to uh, make sure that Hamas won't have any military capabilities at the day that this war ends. At this time, we have three or actually four active fronts or theaters of operations. We spoke about the Gazan front. Uh, there have been clashes and uh, attacks by Palestinian terrorists in Judea and Samaria. Some of you may refer to it as the West Bank, mm. uh, specifically from Jenin, and uh, clashes between uh, Palestinians and Israelis there. There have been rockets and anti-tank missiles, as well as infiltration attempts from the Lebanese border, Hezbollah and the Islamic Jihad. And there have been rockets fired at Israel from Syria. It is still unclear if it is Syrian forces, if it is Hezbollah deployed in Syria, or if it is one of the ir many Iranian militias that are inside Syria that may be responsible for the fire. We responded to uh, the fire with uh, artillery and uh, precise fire of our own. And as of now, the last few hours, there's, uh, I there's a quiet uh, uh, and tense calm. We are very vigilant along all of our borders, uh, north, central and south. 
and it is an unprecedented time in Israel, not only in terms of the casualties, the atrocities, the abducted Israelis, but also the fact that we have active fronts of fighting in three different geographical areas against various enemies.